Hello everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to do auto lip syncing on Adobe Animate so you can make a product like the one showing here. So what I just showed you is what a finished product it looks like, just as something I was working on for a video. Um, so let's start from the beginning. So we have all these, it's, uh, all these layers and I have my mouth layer. So I'm going to start from the beginning and let me just delete all of this. And I have a single mouth frame. So we're going to bring that all the way to the end. So we have this mouth frame. Um, what you're going to want to do, so I'm going to pretend like this hasn't even been drawn yet. So we have this mouth layer, with an empty frame, and we're going to draw a little mouth. And this is just for show. Um, then we're going to click on the mouth or click on the layer. Uh, right click, convert to symbol, and let's say mouth happy. So we now have this symbol. So let's double click on that. And we now have this symbol that we're going to go in here and we're going to create a bunch of different mouth shapes that we need for this lip syncing. And so how we know which mouth shapes are we need, are you going to go back, going to go to properties, object, lip syncing, and this is the list that you need of mouth shapes. Um, and you can find this, I'll link a, a couple of different examples uh, in the description. You can, um, I'm going to screenshot this and then I can use it to reference later. So let's go back into the shape. So let's double click on the mouth, which is a symbol now. And so we, let's create a bunch of uh, frames into here. I'm going to use to make this a little simpler is the one I already have made. So you can see here, I already have all of these shapes made. Let's zoom in on the mouth. So I have the neutral, A, ah, D, E, F, L, M, O, R, S, U, uh, and U. And you can see that they're all in the same place. The teeth, you want to keep the teeth, the top row teeth in the same place to most part. It makes it look natural. Um, and the better you make these look different, the better the mouth is going to look like it's actually talking. So we have this. We have So we have all this already, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So we have our neutral. Let's create a new frame. And then we're going to keyframe this. And let's delete this so we now see the onion skin. And we would draw. I'm just using my trackpad. Do not judge me. Draw the ah. And there's some teeth. And basically, it's gonna look like this. Uh, I mean, it, yeah, it's you know, look at that. So I'm gonna delete that. So what we have here is just the ah shape. <clears throat> and you're gonna do that same thing. Create a frame. Create a new keyframe for the D, E, and you can name them in the properties panel by going to frame and then ah. You can see ah, D, E, F. You, all these are named. It makes it a lot easier. So let's go out of the symbol. And let me replace my the test mouth with this one. Make it a little bigger. Okay, so go to properties, object, lip syncing. So yours is gonna show them all looking like this. They're all gonna have the neutral. So you gotta come in, neutral is the normal, ah, D. And it's easy if you make them all in the same order. Um, it makes it a lot easier to pick them. You don't have to like keep referencing and looking at which one's which. Uh, F and all. So you make sure you have all these paired correctly with this these labels. And so I have my audio on layer seven. <clears throat> Better to name it, but all right. Um, and then so I am going to now click done, and it is creating the lip sync. So now let's see what we have. Oh hello there! Welcome to Disney. Have a magical day. Have okay. a magical day. Not bad. So m I don't know why, but mine seems to always be a little um, delayed. So I'm gonna move mine over just a tad. Good day. <clears throat> Have a magical day, everybody. And Have a there good we go. one. That's Thank you. Thank you. Have it. a magical. Um, and so if you have uh, issues with like some of them are not lining up exactly, you can come in here and you can select each of these keyframes or make your own new keyframes and come into the frame picker 
and change it. Like if you think that should be an O there, or if you think he's they're talking when they're not supposed to, make it a neutral. Or even sometimes I use the M as a neutral just to change it up a bit. And so that's basically it. If um, I was hoping to make this as simple as possible, I hope it was. If you have any comments or questions, um, leave them below, and um, I'll be posting some more tutorials that are as simple as I can make them. Uh, good luck out there, guys. Thanks.